In this video tutorial, we'll look at using the flowchart template at SharePointDashboards.com. This template allows you to enter paths that are part of a flowchart, and the tool will automatically build the flowchart for you. We'll review some settings and take a look at this and see exactly how it works. When you first get to the template screen, check out the different theme options, which will help you understand some of the different possibilities. When going through the options, you can adjust the border uh, that's on the shapes. You can change line colors, font color, um, and do things like change the canvas background. All these things are configurable, and you can change this in the preview screen until it looks the way that you want. The chart width you can adjust using the slider, and then using the aspect ratio, you can uh, change the uh, drawing aspect ratio until it um, looks like the dimensions that you want to use. Of course, you can change the chart title and font size and things like that. One interesting option is the left to right option. Normally, these charts are going to render top to bottom. You can instead use the left to right option, which means the nodes will flow in the direction to the right. If you don't want to have the arrows between the different nodes in your paths, you can just uncheck that box and those will just turn to lines instead of arrows. Then you can adjust the thickness of the arrows with the slider for pen width. There are some different layout engines that you can try. There are a total of six that are available. Generally, the default setting works great, but if you're interested, you can try these different settings. You might like the output of the chart better, depending on which option you pick. And then at the bottom, you want to have the SharePoint fields, which you're going to use to hold the paths. I would recommend creating fields using the default options. These should just be simple SharePoint text fields. For our example, we're going to use this third theme. This is an example of a help desk ticket process. Now you can, if you want, adjust the test data. And the way this works is you put in two text phrases and then do a dash and more than sign. And that makes the sign of a little arrow and then there, these are separated by semicolons. This is just for the test data, um, which you can change and enter your own information just to see how things work. In SharePoint, here are my path fields. As you can see, um, this is just a pattern where I have a uh, phrase in here, so you can see some of the things I put in. Submit ticket, uh, I want that to go to the assigned ticket node, and then I want the assigned ticket node to go to update status and so on. You can use as many as 20 different text fields to refer to those different paths. You do need to make sure that those field names are entered here in the SharePoint screen where you're building the template. So I'm going to go ahead and get this, and basically I just need to copy my code. Um, let's change the canvas background to something different. Um, I'll go towards a light background. Oop, that's too late. Uh, let's change it to something darker where the line colors will stand out. I'll pick that one, and then we'll change the shape color to something different. Um, so I'll go with shape background of uh, something dark. Let's do the navy blue for that. Okay, once I have that how I want, I just copy the code, and then I'm going to go to the uh, formatting for my view, and select advanced, select and paste, and there we go. This is showing my flowchart, my process diagram, which uh, demonstrates the process for a help ticket system. What's great about this is you don't need to spend any time doing any drawing yourself. 
it automatically is going to do the drawing for you. All that you need to do is just define those different paths and that is comprised of a pairing where you define a path between one node to the next node. And that's all there is to it. So experiment with all the different configuration options and you can see exactly what it'll do in the preview screen and uh, have fun seeing all the different possibilities with the SharePoint dashboards flowchart template.